For more information, check out my blog, theguy.com. Starting with my skin first, I'm going to prime it with this Laura Mercier primer. And I know it seems really dark, but it gives you the most beautiful glow from within. Um, excuse my skin right now. I am having like the worst skin moment because I ate something that I shouldn't have eaten. And I got a really bad allergic reaction on my cheeks. So I have all these little bumps and then I burnt my chin. Yes, I burnt my chin. Oh. Anyways. Apply the primer all over and don't forget your neck since it is a little darker, you want it to kind of glow everywhere. Then I'm going to mix my Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation with my MAC Luster Drops and it's going to mix them together with my little spatula on the back of my hand. Now I want the skin to look very dewy and glowing so that's why I'm applying two kind of shimmer kind of products the primer and the luster drops, but you can totally skip that if you don't like a lot of shine. So just buffing that in with my beauty blender, kind of applying it with my fingers first, warming it up, and then blending that in with my beauty blender. You can see the burn on my chin right there. It's so annoying. I used a cleanser that I was trying out from Sephora, and I'm really sad because it burnt my skin. That's a whole other topic, but um, now I'm just going to conceal. This is the Wake Me Up Concealer by Rimmel, and I'm also going to be using my MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost just to highlight the area a little bit as well. Now, all the product names, details, all of that will be in the description box below or on my blog. You guys know that's usually where all the info is because I can't remember the names off the top of my head. So I'm just buffing that in with the Beauty Blender and making it nice and smooth. I'm going to be focusing majority of the time on my skin because, I don't know, now that the weather's getting warmer, well, not in Toronto, but now that the weather will be getting warmer, I like to focus more on the skin. So I'm just setting that under eye with this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, just really pushing that into the skin. Then I'm going to contour with a cream contour first. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick. This is the darkest one. I'm going to very lightly contour with this because for the rest of the face, I'm going to be using very shimmery products. So I wanted to get a matte cream contour on first so that it doesn't look too shimmery and make you look sweaty because too much shimmer can make you look sweaty there's just the right amount of glow that you need so make sure that it's really nicely blended in you don't have any harsh lines and remember to take your time with your nose because contouring that wrong can be a disaster because you can make your nose look crooked then i'm going to take this physician's formula blush it's like a blush bronzer and I'm taking more of the darker colors and I'm taking a, I think this is a 109 brush from MAC and I'm focusing right above where I contoured right onto the cheekbone. So blending back and into the temples as well, but you want to make sure that this is right above that contour that we just did. We don't want any shimmer on the actual contour because it's going to look really weird. Shimmering contours are not that great. So going right above that then just doing the very tip of my nose then for my highlight since my skin is really dry right now because the weather is really cold i'm going to take my mac um, cream color base and this is in pearl and i'm really going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones i'm going to go on the bridge of my nose tip of my nose under my brow and i'm not going to be setting this with a powder i really 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 enjoy how this looks just on its own it is such a beautiful product so long wearing and it makes your skin look very beautiful and dewy and whenever i do the tip of my nose it's so ticklish because it's still like swollen so i can't really feel much but it is it's a hard time because it's very ticklish but yeah going on the bridge of my nose tip of my nose and kind of blending upwards into my forehead this is how i get the dewy look and then kind of applying it onto my cupid's bow with a smaller brush i'm not using my fingers because I have fat fingers and it kind of gets everywhere so getting that on there then for my blush i'm using this nyx baked blush now these are really pigmented so i pick it up dab it on the back of my hand pick up some more dab it and then go onto my cheekbones i'm going to blend this back into that bronzer that we applied earlier this is such a beautiful orangey bronzy color i love it i love this entire face look it gives you such a healthy glow 
I'm gonna fill in the sparse area of my brows I'm using Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'm not gonna go f into full detail with my brows right now. Um, if you guys want like a full tutorial, I'll do that, but I really don't do that much with my brows. I just kind of fill in the sparse areas and then go over with a tinted brow gel just to kind of keep them in place because I'm kind of lazy with cutting them and maintaining my brows. So now I'm gonna work on the eyes. I'm gonna use this Essence eyeshadow primer. Loving this right now. I mentioned this in my previous video. This is like my go-to primer of the moment. Just kind of blending that all over the lid, getting a little bit of that into the inner corner just to kind of mattify it a little bit, brighten it up. Then I'm gonna take that exact same Physicians Formula bronzer that I used on my cheekbones, and I'm gonna take the darker color, which is the second darkest color, sorry. I'm gonna take that on my fluffy brush, and I'm gonna apply a wash of this all over my lid. Whenever the weather gets warmer, I'm going for a bronzy glow. This Physicians Formula product is my go-to. I use it all the time. I love it so much. So I always use it on my eyes, my cheeks, and just, just about everywhere. So really blending that onto my lid and buffing it out. And then you want to take the product again. You're going to pinch your brush or you can use a smaller brush. I was just lazy to get a smaller brush. And I'm going to go on my lower lash line. This is going to give you... A very light wash of color it's gonna look like there's a little bit of color on your eyes but it's nothing too crazy and nothing too heavy and it's kind of pulling the entire look together because we have this on our cheeks then I'm gonna take Costa Riche eyeliner from Mac I'm gonna pop this onto the very outer part of my waterline I'm not going on the entire waterline then I'm just gonna take a matte black eyeshadow and an angled brush and I'm gonna concentrate that black color on my lash line so I'm gonna build up the color on my lash line then I'm gonna take that fluffy brush that we applied the bronze color with and blend that out smoke it out and then apply some more kind of deepen up that lash lash line this is just gonna give the illusion of thicker lashes but not really an eyeliner look I'm not winging it out or anything like that so now that the eyes are done, it's pretty basic, I'm going to apply my mascara. First coat is L'Oreal Carbon Black Voluminous. This is my go-to mascara. I will never, ever stop using this mascara. I love it. And then for my second coat, I'm going to be using the Voluminous Butterfly Lash, which you guys said flakes on you too, and it makes me sad because I love the way this mascara makes my lashes look, but flaky is a no-go. So there are the eyes done with the entire face look. I'm going to do my lower lashes now. I'm just applying a very light coat of mascara on my lower lashes just to kind of have the eyes defined a little bit more because we didn't do that much work on the eyes. So there are the eyes and face done. I love this look for summertime. You can wear a bold lip with it or you can wear like a nude lip. I usually wear a nude lip, but I've been really liking this bold color that I got. So going to show you guys how I apply it. So I used MAC Strip Down Lip Liner to line my lips. I use this to line my lips for every lip color. It doesn't really matter what lip color I'm wearing. Then I'm going to use this Lip Tar from OCC. I think it's called Kimber. It is so beautiful. It is like the prettiest bright orange color. I think it probably will be suitable for all skin tones because a lot of oranges can have more red in it or coral. This is just really nice i can't really describe the color but it's a really beautiful color i'm in love with it right now i've been wearing a lot lately so there is the entire look done i hope you guys enjoyed this really simple look and i hope you try it out for spring and i will see you guys in my next video. Bye.